Howdy and welcome back. I'm Oliver the Shoe Man and today we got a pair of one of these Tony Llama fish skin boots we're going to be customizing. We're not touching anything with the soles. The customer wants this turmeric style color to kind of go to a two-tone dark brown light brown color. So I'm gonna put a picture right now and that's kind of what he wants. So we're gonna attempt to do that. My idea is to take some light brown leather dye with my spray gun, my air gun, and air gun the whole thing. Let me give that'll give me one solid light brown coat, and then I'm gonna take a paintbrush um, and kind of go in where all the little diamond scales are and darken them up with a little paintbrush. So it's gonna be kind of time consuming, but should work out in the end. Um, first step is going to tape off the shaft and the soles. That way we don't get any dye on there. Um, and go from there. So we got it all taped up everywhere. I don't want the dye to hit. Making sure all the lines are there good. The soles taped off. I had some white stitching on there. So I'm going to pray that the dye doesn't seep through and hit that. Um, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the customer said, if we can keep it white, let's keep it white. So I taped it off to the best of my ability. We're going to be using an air gun and some light brown Lincoln dye. And we're just going to do a small coat, light coat, over the whole thing to try to get it one solid brown color. And then from there, I could go in and darken all the different lines. So... That's the plan. It's a lot easier said than done, so let's let's pray it all works out. All right, so here we are so far. Now the lighting back here in my dye area sucks. So it's kind of hard to show you guys, but it's kind of got that brown finish to it, which is what we're wanting. Um, it still kind of has a bronze hue to it, but once I put the conditioner on there, it'll give it a solid color. So now what I think I'm going to do is instead of using a paintbrush like I was gonna try to do, and paintbrush this in and risk getting drips and lines. I'm gonna take the airbrush and then I'm going to dial it in to where it, instead of going a, a widespread, it's gonna go like a, a, like a pinpoint, I guess you can call it, really small. And I'm just gonna to try to draw in doing, following these lines here with another coat of brown. I'm not gonna to go to the dark brown because I don't want it to be too much of a contrast. And I can always go darker can't go lighter so that's gonna be the next step drawing in um with another coat of brown to see if we can get it to be darker than the background because that's kind of what he wanted so it's coming along fairly well wish me luck the next step this is kind of nerve-wracking because once you get dye on the boots it's it's kind of on there forever so let's continue on this project all right, so I got a piece of leather here. I'm gonna just test and see how wide it is. It's a little too wide, so I'm gonna twist this a little tighter. 
Make sure I can. That's a little too light or too tight. Let's see here. I think that should be good. All right, I'm gonna turn the vent on. It's gonna be a little loud, but we're gonna go ahead and do our best to draw it all in. So after letting it dry, here's what it looks like trying to draw and follow these lines with the air gun. And it kind of looks like that's all the same color, which is not what we're going for. You can see there's a lot of light spots left underneath all this, the scales and stuff like that. So what I ended up doing taking a small paintbrush and going in and dying just like I had originally planned to go in and follow these lines that way I was able to get into most of the cracks there's still some light spots in there but that's really deep in there so that's kind of it's looking a lot more like the picture this one versus this one where you have the dark lines and the light brown um, background so we're gonna go ahead and do what we did to this one so this one and see if we can get these all cleaned up and finished now the true test is going to be when i put the conditioner on there because you can see it kind of has a bronze hue to it and when you put the conditioner on there it'll give it that final color that it needs and buff that out so we are making progress just takes a little time all right so let me show you guys kind of what i'm doing here these have a whole bunch of little flaps that you can see have a whole bunch of light spaces in between so i'm kind of opening up the flaps temporarily so I could get in here with the paintbrush, dye it, and then push it back down. It's a super fun and tedious process. I mean, I got some good music going on, so not an issue. But it's mainly just trying to focus and not get dye where dye doesn't belong so, yeah this has been my life the last oh, I want to say hour two hours I think so far Put three three hours in this project so far, starting from the beginning. So it's just trying to make sure it's done right. That way it looks good. The customer can wear it and get what he wants. It's another little pocket. You don't think there's a pocket until you start trying to put your paintbrush in there and wow well, look how it opens up so 
Yeah, I'm not gonna continue to bore you guys with this. I'm gonna put my music back on and just concentrate. Take my time. Make sure it's done properly and it looks good. Alrighty. Here we are, almost done. And I say almost done because we still gotta take obviously the tape off, we gotta condition the boots. And for a while there, I thought I got all the light spots and then I would look again and there'd be another light spot. And we want light spots, because we want that two-tone effect, but I was always, I was able to find or I kept on finding spots where the original color of the boot, that turmeric was. So maybe, possibly I might find one now that I've recorded it. <laughs> but it looks like it's good to me. We're gonna let this sit and dry overnight. Then we're going to use some of this Angelus leather cleaner and conditioner for reptile slash exotic skins. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of saturate it because the leather dye does dry out the leather a lot. So I'm gonna saturate that. We're gonna take off all the tape and then you see this line right here. Let's see, hold on, I'm sorry. See that line right there? Well, if you follow it, it goes all the way down and then we have a dark brown here. So once I take this off, the plastic, I'm gonna have to very carefully go in and see if I can dye that line, the dark brown, like it is down here, because it's gonna stop right here, it's gonna be dark brown, it's gonna be tan up. So, I'm gonna let this sit overnight, I'm good. See you in the morning. After conditioning the boots a couple times, I mean, it's not 100% what the picture is, but with different leathers and different dyes, really not much you can control. You just gotta pick the right colors and hope for the best. Especially with this fish skin, it was really difficult to do that. But I think we got a, a pretty good two-tone color, which is what the customer wanted. The next step is going to be removing the tape, dyeing that little strip dark brown, removing the bottom tape, and just doing one final clean and condition, and these should be good to go. Working on dyeing this piping to match the shoe because we dyed it down here. We have to continue it all the way up. And so I took a small paintbrush. I turned it into a very fine point to where I can get some dye. And very, very carefully just paint it on there. Doing my best to not get that green. Pain in the butt, time consuming, but it's gotta be done. This side came out fairly nice. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna touch up the tops of these edges where the tape was masking off. Do a final condition, touch up everything else and these will be good to go. All right, and we are done with these boots. They turned out, what a big difference from what they were to what they are now. It's a whole new look. Now, after we did the initial dye job on the, on the uppers, I texted the customer a couple pictures because 
as you guys can see, it's not kind of, it's really not what he sent me. But he ended up loving them even more with that reddish tone in there. And what I think happened was just the color that these usually were, when they mixed with that brown dye, gave us that reddish tone. So the base coat has a big part in a what, how your dye is going to turn out. So I think that's why it turned out more reddish than the brown that we had wanted. Now we could have used an acrylic leather dye, which is almost like a leather paint to get that color that we wanted. But with this certain skin, I was not going to feel comfortable doing that, painting it and it just wasn't going to look good and turn out good. There's so many crevices and, and oh my gosh, I don't know how many times or how much time I spent trying to fill in all the cracks and yeah. But anyway, the customer loves them. We ended up getting that piping dyed. Just took a little patience and some skill. That way it's one solid color and it doesn't go from a dark brown to a tan all the way up. But if you guys are curious, this was a $350 job, I believe it was. Um, as you saw, it was super time consuming and it took a little bit of skill too. So, um, very happy with how these turned out. I wanna, curious to see how you guys, what you guys think of it. Um, but that's it. If you guys have any questions, or if you want something like this done to your boots or any anything you want to get in contact with me, I'll put all the information down below. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless y'all.